hello, hello. Hello, hello, how's it going, everyone? Just giving it a second before we get started. Okay, so in today's video, I'll be doing a full review of SEOwriting.ai. SEOwriting.ai, I've been playing around with this tool. I think it is definitely one of the best AI writers in the market. They have a lot of really, really good features, and essentially they have everything that you would like to have in an AI writer. So in today's video, I wanted to do a full breakdown, walkthrough, review tutorial, whatever you want to call it, of SEOwriting.ai. If you want to try it out for yourselves, there, there will also be a link below where you can try out SEO writing for yourselves. I believe you get a free trial and um, you should also be able to get a 30% discount as well um, with the link below. So there's a couple of different uh, tools or different templates in which you can choose from when using SEO writing. The first obviously is going to be the easiest, which is the one click blog post generator. You also have the blog bulk article generator. You have the blog post product roundups, product review, simple editor, how to guide and a product list workflow. But I think majority of you guys will either use the one click blog post or the bulk article generation. So let's go ahead and click the one click blog post. Now this is where you're actually able to write your content. So the first thing that you need to do, obviously, is find a keyword in which you want to write about and then a title. So to do so, let's quickly head over to Ahrefs. I don't want this video to be a full tutorial on keyword research, but you can use this as a, a way of finding keywords. So you can use Ahrefs or you can use some free methods like using the Google Ads Planner. I did a video on that before if you want to check it out. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to write a article on a topic within a niche that I write for, which is mortgages in Canada. So let's quickly open up a site here. You know what? I haven't I have an idea for a topic already, so I'll just use that. How do you get approved? So this is going to be the main keyword, C-N-A-D-A. -A. So this is going to be the main keyword, how to get approved for a mortgage as a self-employed business owner in Canada. So we'll make the keyword a little bit shorter and then we'll make the title how to get approved as a for a mortgage as a self-employed business owner in Canada. Okay, and then now let's go ahead and take a look at our settings. So we're going to make the article a large article because you want at least 3,600 words. That will be pretty good. Medium will be 2,400 and then small would be 1,200. So let's do a large article. Now there's different models which we can choose from. For this example, I would like to use uh, GPT-40. So GPT-40 is the latest model from, from uh, OpenAI. And we're, that's going to cost us four generations. And for the settings, we're going to use eighth and ninth grade. And this already is going to humanize the text, so it's going to be less likely to, to be detected by AI. And we're going to aim for eighth and ninth grade, which means that the readability will be easy to read. Tone of voice friendly, point of view, target country. Let's actually put in Canada here. Um, we're not going to include any information here. We're going to add some images, yes. So three images. We want three photos. One YouTube video, which is actually really good. And for SEO, we're also going to use um, the NLP keyword generation. So let them generate the keywords themselves. Okay, pretty good. For structure, we're going to leave it as is. Oh, you know what? Let's do a stat or a fact. 
Yep, okay, that's good. We want to keep this all the same. So yes, yes to yes. We're not going to do any external linking. We will be using the deep web. So it's going to analyze hundreds of the most relevant websites with stats for this specific um, blog topic. We're going to do citations and we're going to do um, source links as well. So we're getting a lot of information here and this is fairly new. So the ability to add citations and the ability to add source links is a fairly new um um sort of feature that's available from seo writing so if you want to write more factual information that allows you to do so so now that everything's set up we can simply go ahead and click run and as you can see our content will start writing so once that's writing let's go over the plans of seo right <clears throat> the plans of seo writing so i don't want to log out so Let's just see if we can take a look at the pricing. So right now I'm paying $19 per month. So this is the starter plan. And this gives me 50 generations. Now, it's important to note that if you are using different models, it will cost you more. Anthropic is going to cost you 10 generations. So that means you can essentially, sorry, Anthropic Claude 3 Opus will cost you 10 generations. So that means you can only generate five articles if you're using Opus by itself. Now, if you're using GPT-4, right, that's only four articles. So that means you can obviously um, generate a lot more articles. Um, and then if you have GPT, sorry, if you were using GPT-3, then this is only one generation. So of course, that's much more, 50 generations. Um, Anthropic-3, Haiku is only one generation as well. Sonnet is four generations. So that's the same price as GPT-40. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of a difference um, in pricing depending on the, the model in which you're using, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, you would essentially be able to generate around, let me do some quick math here, um, generate around 12 articles if you're using GPT-4 um, or GPT, sorry, if you're using GPT-4.0 or if you're using Anthropic, um, sorry, GPT-4.0 or GPT or Anthropic Claude 3 Sonnet. There's so many different models now, but essentially the idea is here is that the more, um, the more, um, the higher the cost is for these models, the more generations it's going to take. So the highest or the best, um, um, essentially the best outputs are going to be costing you a little bit more so let's go ahead and take a look at their article now it's still only eight percent and i think that's because we're using i think we use gpt4 um, but also what it's doing because it's scraping the web it does take a little bit longer but i'll show you one of the articles that i got finished yesterday which was the ultimate guide to getting approved for a mortgage in canada in 2024 so this was the article and as you can see here it has the source links and the citations and it has the images also included Right. Then we also have a key takeaway. Understanding the basic of mortgages in Canada. And then here we go. Again, you also get a source here. So this is really good, especially when you're writing factual and up to date information. It's nice that you're able to get these sources. This is all from one source, but again, still really, really useful. So again, if we scroll down here, we'll be able to see um what the content looks like as you can see here we get a nice video as well so this video is included we get some pull quotes we get some tables here and we get another image so a really really long and in-depth article i think this article was about and then we get the source links as well which is really good so i think this article if we take a look at it it's about 4,400 words, right? So this is really, really good stuff here. Um, it's very in-depth and you, it's very easy to read. Um, and you have a lot of images, you have videos as well. Um, just makes the content really, really good. So that's, I think, what really makes SEOwriting.ai stand out is that it has all of these different features available all in one place. And it's not very, very expensive. For $19, you can still generate um, about easily about 10 to 15 articles uh, per month, which is usually um, what most people will generate regularly. Of course, if you're a heavy user, you can always upgrade your plans. So let's go ahead and take a look at our builder. We are at 98% here. So we'll give this a little bit of time for it to finish off. All 
And the good thing about SEO writing is that they're always um, adding new features. So I do believe that they have some new features as well. So this is how to get approved for a mortgage as a self-employed business owner in Canada. About 15% of Canadians work for themselves, being your own boss, da da da. To get a mortgage, you'll need to show your personal tax records from the last two to three years. Okay, key takeaways, understanding self-employed, stats and trends, the challenges of self-employed business owners, what lenders look for. And we got a nice video here, essential documentation. Mortgage insurance for self-employed individuals. Common pitfalls, no income. This is a pretty good picture as well. FAQ and your source links. So overall, this article is about 4,600 words, which again is really, really good. Um, and as you can see, it just makes it very easy for you to write content, right? We can simply publish straight to our website if we would like to do so, or we can just copy that over and paste this into our WordPress site. So again, if we wanted to, we can use the bulk article generator. And this is pretty cool because all you have to do is enter your main keyword, the blog post title and the keywords, and you add a row and you can generate about two to three articles in seconds using the bulk generation mode. So let's quickly go over this. So let's say we wanted to write a article about private lending in Ontario, how to get a private mortgage in Ontario. And we can generate our NLPs for that specific for that specific topic. We can add another row. Refinancing house in Ontario. How to refinance And again, I can then generate my keywords. And there you go. Now we once once we have our settings, we can then or once we have our main keyword set up, we can then make sure our settings are correct. Let's try using Sonnet for this generation. So we're gonna use eight. How many do we have left? I think we have enough left. Um, we're gonna humanize the text. Yes, eighth and ninth grade. Target country is gonna be Canada. And then we're gonna have our images. We're gonna leave it as is. We're gonna use deep search. And then we're going to run. Okay, so that is going to be eight credits, which again is not bad, um, but it's very, very easy to do and we can set it up to generate content fairly quickly. So if we take a look at it, We've already used about 22 of our um, generations, so about half of our generations, and we've generated about only about two, well, now it's gonna be four articles. So just keep in mind, if you are using Opus or um, you're using GPT-4.0, oh, it's going to cost you a little bit more. Opus is definitely the most expensive, um, the most ex expensive model. Uh, that's just because it simply costs them more. So let's simply go ahead and let's take a look at the bulk generation. It is going to take a little bit of time. As you can see, it's queuing up. But in terms of in terms of content, I definitely would say SEO writing.ai is up there. Uh, we are also building our own AI writer. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's wordrocket.ai. We are doing a lot more um, improvements onto the tool as well because there's a lot of things that we like from SEO writing that is available on, um, that we don't have available as yet, but that is something that we are working on. For instance, we have GPT-4 Turbo, but we do not have GPT-4 um, o or Claude Opus or any Claude models included, but that's something in which we are working on. So for example, I'll show you a little bit of a comparison between the two. So let's say we wanted to write an article about how to get approved as a, a mortgage as a self-employed business owner. We would enter that into the tool. We can choose to include an FAQ. We can also choose the tone or the type of audience. And then just like how simple it is to generate content using um, SEO writing, we can generate the content by clicking generate here on Word Rocket. And once you click generate, the content should start generating. As you can see, it generates an outline and then it will generate the full article. So obviously there's some big, 
um, differences between SEO writing and Word Rocket. And I think one of the bigger ones is that the ability to do deep a deep dive um, or include your citations and your sources, to include images, to use different models, um, and to just make the content even longer as well. I find that SEO writing does a really good job. But we are working on improving word rocket and once we have it to where we think it's comparable to seo writing and of course even better at some point um that will be available to you guys so if you haven't used word rocket i definitely would recommend checking it out it's not bad by any means it is still pretty good i find that the method that we use is much more natural um and i find that the content is just more natural in terms of what you would get back compared to sometimes the content from SEO writing, even though it's really, really good, they follow a very specific format. And it's fairly easy to, to know that it's um, it's AI written, but again, it still does a really, really good job. I cannot say anything bad about this tool. It is a really, really good tool, and I definitely recommend checking it out. So once Word Rocket kind of finishes off the first draft, then we can expand the article. So it's still finishing up the first draft here so let's give it some time and we'll head back over to seo writer and we'll see what's the status of these two articles so they're sort of still on loading mode um i guess maybe because it's the bulk generation and there is a queue so sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer to see what the content will look like so this is the first sort of draft from word rocket as you can see it's not bad obviously i would like a little bit more list or tables And then we're, we can expand the article. So, and then it will kind of give us a lot of more information about that topic, which would be much more of a complete article compared to the first draft that we created. so as you can see you do get a lot more content once you expand the article um obviously we would like to have more lists more tables more charts and even have images included into into the articles but word rocket as it is right now you have to use your api key so that means when you use your api key the content is actually much more cheaper because um you're not paying us directly you are paying um open ai so the content is much much more cheaper um, if you were to write an article um so let's say you want to create images you would just have to use another tool like dolly 3 or stable diffusion to create your images but you can still write a pretty decent article this is 2600 words on mortgages in canada again we have some lists and if you wanted to you can simply pop this into chat gpt to create a table or if you wanted to grab a video from youtube it would be very easy for you to grab a video so you can kind of replicate the same results obviously it's a little bit more work it takes a little bit longer um but it's also a little bit cheaper compared to seo writing um, AI. so these are probably going to take a little bit of time so what i'll do i'll probably do a different video in which i go over what the results look like but if you haven't tried out seo writing for yourself i would definitely recommend checking it out i do recommend it i think it's a really really solid tool there's a lot of good features very useful features that allow you to write content very quickly you can use the one click blog post generator or the bulk article generator and you can generate a lot of high quality articles and blog posts so i hope that you guys enjoyed this live if you didn't if you did give us a big thumbs up and if you want to check out word rocket it will be in the description below today's video and you can also check out seo writing.ai below as well take care guys and i'll see you in the next video